hi guys welcome back to another episode of fishing potato so today i'm at auntie pond uh gonna be bouncing some rubbers gonna try and catch some timalo mangrove jack finger mark snapper whatever lah yeah so i'm with mr keith chua who's already luring down there and you got dylan so i'm gonna set up and get started with the fishing all right guys so i'll be starting the day off with uh trigger x slope popper 2.2 inch the black and gold a five gram jig head Rapala koivu 8 to 14 pound yeah let's give it a try so first cast i'm gonna drop it there try to slow crank it along the pillars See if anything wants to take. Using white color. Nice. Hey, how, 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 how? Okay, never mind. Oh, awesome, uh, buddy. Ah, technology. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's the. All right. So that was amazing. <laughs> uh, on the trigger X slope hopper, two point two inch. Oh, the fella took it right there. Two, two point two. Awesome, let's take a picture and makan this fellow. <laughs> Alright guys, so again again, got another Kimbalo. I wasn't recording the take but same place, same thing. Okay, let's land this fellow. Okay, alright. Another one, same thing, trigger X work popper, 2.2 inch. You can see the rubber right there. Look at that lighting. Alright, nice skin. Let's take a picture and release this fellow. I mean, a uh, makan. Yes. Alright, fish on. Mount up. Alright, third one of the day. Rubber. Three pieces. Three pieces. Three eggs, bugs, watermelon, slob of her. Alright, let's take some pictures and mark on this fellow. <laughs> That was big guys, that was big, that was big, that was massive. Oh wow. Sounds big. Fish on, fish on. Another kimbalo. Very strong. Alright. Let's let this. Oh. Alright, boys. Another one. 
Same thing, let's see the door right now. Where is it? Oh, it's more already. Yep. Slope hopper, watermelon color. Alright, straight cranking. Nice, Sivas. Ui, yo, show kalaka. Alright, guys, so we're back now. Uh, back at home already. So I'll be preparing up this barmandi for y'all to see. So, the way that I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna be taking out the scales by actually cutting it off instead of like just scaling it. Across, okay, cut down all the way. Okay, Just bring that all the way down. Alright, so the way that we're going to be preparing this fish is very simple. We will be cutting it into cubes and we'll be frying it off. Alright, so let's get started with that. Alright guys, so now we're gonna season the fish. So what we're gonna be using is we got salt, chili powder, black pepper, turmeric powder, and this is a mixture of ginger and garlic that uh, we've just been mashed up. So it's basically ginger garlic paste. We take about a spoon of salt, so about this much salt. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. Just one spoon, lah. just like one. Chili powder, so that's a one heap teaspoon or whatever spoon this is. So, one of that pepper, about half a teaspoon, that much. This pepper is really like the taste is strong, so you don't want to overpower it. Turmeric powder, you just put a very small bit. So about a pinch of turmeric. So just mix them all up. Okay, wait. Let me mix them a bit first. Then let's put in the ginger garlic paste. I actually forgot to put it in. So yeah, wonderful. Okay. Now let's mix them all up properly. Make 
sure to get it in all the nooks and crannies and whatnot, all inside inside the bagus. So yeah, once everything has been marinated, it should look roughly something like that. So now we're gonna leave it closed uh, for about 30 minutes to an hour and leave it closed in the fridge to marinate so that the flavor will get absorbed by the meat. All right guys, so it's been about 30 minutes. So our fish has been marinated. Okay, now we're heating up the oil, right? So just prepare some, prepare a plate with some uh, paper towels to uh, drain off all the excess oil. So it helps a lot. Take a small bit, okay? Lay it away from you. Each side will take about a minute or two to cook because these are relatively small pieces so it doesn't take very long to cook so it's pretty quick yes looks about right as you can see the you can see it cook up so like this is still raw but as you can see this is cooked already so we can uh, flip it Wait a bit more. It's almost done already. As you can see, it's it's practically cooked. I'm just uh, trying to get it cooked all the way through. As you can see it's basically already cooked. Now the fish is just falling apart. Let's remove it. You can see that's how it's supposed to look like. Let's drain all the excess oil. Alright. Put it onto the paper dolls. Get the other pieces as well. Drain the excess oil. Just hold it at the top of the pan for a while. Once for them over. Put the paper towels, just let them rest, like let them soak up all the oil. And that's about it, and we're done. So, let's take a look at the fish. Alright guys, so let's try out the fish and see how it is. So, I just got a small piece for myself. Alright, let's show you the meat. Nice and flaky, alright. It's not like uh, rubbery or anything. It's nice flaky white flesh. So good, good. So down. Anti pond fish. No muddy smell. No nothing. Good fish. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. Uh, my IG link will be in the description. Keith's IG link will be in the, in the description as well. Everybody's IG will be down there. Do check it out. Um, tell me in the comments if you like more of these kind of videos where I like. I do catch and cooks and maybe I go to like ponds to do pond fishing because I, I like it. It's quite fun to catch these like barras and stuff. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. I hope you all like it. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Bye bye. Oh, gonna? Yeah. Oh, nice. Uy. Uy, oh. Oh. <laughs>